If you've found yourself ever wanting to take your iPad or your iPhone and mirror it on your Mac, well, there's kind of an easy way to do that these days. We don't have to buy any software. If you're running Yosemite on Mac, the latest version of OS X, and I believe it's 10, I'm a 10, 10, 1 or something like that, and you have QuickTime Player, which you should by default installed, what you need to do is you need to take your iPad or your iPhone and make sure that you've got the latest OS on it. You want to plug it in. I believe iOS 8 uh, and above is what we need on there. You need to plug it into your Mac. So use the, the Thunder display thing to the USB, what you'd normally charge it with, right? Just plug that right into your Mac. I've got my laptop right here. What you can then do is if you go to QuickTime Player, so I'm going to go open to the QuickTime Player, you can go to File and you're going to see New Movie Recording. Now, if you have this set up right, like I said, you're in the right OS, the right everything, you can come down here and you'll see there's a little arrow to the right and we can choose the camera from our device. So I'll choose iPad 2 here. It's going to connect to my machine. It always does that. And there we go. I have movie recording. Now it's it's going to come in here. You could say, all right, let's record this if we want to, but you can also use it just as a way to demo. So I can say, hey, let's go into shape, that kind of thing. Let's go here. I don't want to rate it. But you can show different things on your device. And I use this a lot for demoing. Uh, demo purposes. That way it makes it a little bit easier for me so I don't have to have other software to do this. But I have my content right here. It's an easy way to be able to mirror from your device to your Mac laptop.